Hello everybody, Nathan here with the Mind Test Mod Review. Today we are looking at the Server Helper mod, and I've got my good friend Bob, who um, is very shy. He doesn't say much, doesn't even type much, um, and as you can tell, he just kind of stands there. Um, kind of an oddball kind of guy, but you know what, he volunteered to help, so I'm going to take any help I can get. Um, and basically just because I, I need him to do some stuff that will get himself kicked is basically what we're what we're having him do so uh, i kind of feel bad for the poor guy because he's just gonna get kicked from the server but you know in order to demonstrate what this mod does uh, i needed somebody to do it uh so basically if we if we learn how to spell first there's a handful of things we can say that'll get responses from the server in the form of the all seeing eye so different birthday messages whoops um there's like six different things you can say for birthday, and it'll sing you happy birthday. Uh, it has ASL protection, check, whatever you want to consider it. So for like, hey Bob, what's your location? We'll get a nice little message from the all seeing eye saying maybe you shouldn't talk about that. And now it's not something that just I see, but I think everybody sees that one. Yeah, everybody will see that saying, hey, you shouldn't be talking about this. Um, if I go overboard with punctuation, I'll get a nice little message from the server saying, please do not go overboard with punctuation. Now, in the current iteration of this, I don't know if iteration is the right word, I might just say version, in the current version that I'm recording with, you don't get kicked for punctuation. So I could just keep doing punctuation over and over and over and over again, and I would never get kicked. Also, if my friend Bob here were to use a bunch of punctuation um we still see the message now oddly enough oddly enough and i don't know why this happens because nothing in the code says it should when somebody else does it the all seeing eye sends the message before you see the player's message but when i do it i see my message and then the all seeing eyes i don't know why that happens it is not intentional. Um, I don't know. It's just the way it works for whatever reason. Um, because I did do a small part of development on this, I may ask the... I don't even know what I want to call him, but the guy who actually is doing the, the mod and stuff, if we don't want to change some of these messages from the all Eye to just be to the player. Because like if I'm here playing... You know, having a grand time digging blocks of snow. And, you know, just minding my own business. I really don't want to see somebody going around using all caps, using all punctuation, and then getting all these messages from the all-seeing eye. It's like, it's annoying enough already seeing this player doing this. Now my chat's getting spammed from the server even more. So I will probably mention to him that and see if we don't want to maybe change it so the chat message is only sent to the player that's doing it um so yeah it'll just give us a message for punctuation but it'll never kick us if we do um let's just say we want the night or if we want we can change between night and day. Now, there is a setting for this. So if you don't want your players going nilly-willy changing the time on the server, you can turn that option off. So they can't. And there's a handful of different messages you can use to change uh, change what the time is. Um, now I'm going to have Bob get himself kicked here. Sorry, Bob. He is going to send a whole bunch of punctuation. And again, the all-seeing eye sends its message before I see Bob's, but on um, Bob's computer where uh, I'm typing, I mean where he's typing, uh, I'm seeing his message before he, before the all-seeing eye sees it. So, yeah, but I think he needs to do it once more here, Bob. Yep, and Bob got himself kicked because he was using all caps. And I think he can stay out of the game now. Um, there's a few different help responses, so if we do help, um, it'll say what do you need help with, and then if we do like, okay, I guess areas doesn't work, but there's a there's a few of those that will probably get expanded out. Um, 
if you say you're stuck, what? Why did that give me my IP? That's not right. I am stuck. It should teleport me to my spawn point. What in the world? Okay, well let's let's try this. Okay, and then let's try because this is supposed to teleport you to. Would you like to teleport you to spawn? We'll answer with yes. And that still is not working. Hmm. Thought we had that fixed. It's supposed to just teleport you back to zero 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 if there's not a static spawn set, which there isn't. Um, that is also an option you can turn on and off. So if you're not setting a static spawn, you may just want to turn that message or that option right off. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, he said it was working. I guess maybe he didn't test it. Uh, if we die, which I can't demonstrate because the server will crash if I die because I'm running the server, uh, but it'll give you an option to teleport back to your bones, and that works really well. Um, we have a few other little messages. If we say hi, it'll say hi back. Um, there's a couple other things we can do if we... Griefing's not permitted will not be allowed. It doesn't really do anything other than just saying that. Uh, there's language control, which will actually kick you if you're swearing and using bad language. Not going to demo that because this is a family show and we're not putting swear words up on the screen. Um, we have a couple other things. We can do like, can I be a mod? And you'll say you need to ask a server administrator. And then lastly, we just have some fun stuff here. Um, pretty much, and not vulgar language, but kind of just like rude things that you could say, the server will tell you, hey, those are fighting words, kind of suggesting to the player that they not use them anymore. Um, so that basically is server helper. It's still kind of in its infancy uh, and still being worked on. So things will change, but I just wanted to throw a mod review out for it because, well, the mod creator wanted me to, and that's what I do. And if you want me to do one, just watch the end of the video and click on the link or go to my website. All the information is there. And you can request a review of a mod you made or a mod you play with and want to know a little more about. Or, yeah, whatever. So be sure to do that with all of your requests. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. A really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. Takes a two-form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but... Hey, do it anyways. There's, you got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.